if you create social media content and you are sharing that content or you want to share that content to a variety of different platforms from Facebook to TikTok to YouTube to Google to wherever, then this video is for you because I'm going to show you how to use a platform that can automatically push your content out to all of the platforms automatically. That way you aren't wasting time individually uploading content and posting content one by one. So this is called one up. I've been using this now for a few months. I've used other social media schedulers and this one's my favorite because of two reasons. One, it's the cheapest out there that I know of. You can sign up for 10 accounts for only $12 per month, very cheap. And then two, the reason why I also love it is the fact that it has access to also automatically schedule content to your Google My Business account. And that's very, very important if you want to grow your Google business profile. So I'm Jared Larkin. I'm with Chicago Title. And I'm going to walk you through how to use oneupapp.io right now. Okay. So first things first, go to oneupapp.io. Do this on your computer. And what you're going to do is you're just going to slowly tap into each of your social media platforms and connect to your accounts, right? Login, password, all that fun stuff. Once you do that, you're going to see all of your accounts down here. You can see I've got maxed out up to 10 and I wanna leverage as many of these as I can when I post my content. Next thing you're gonna do is you're going to go ahead and if you wanted to post something, whether it's right now or you wanted to schedule out in the future, you would click right here and you click on create a post, okay? Next, once you do that, you can then go ahead and select the accounts that you want to have automatically posted to. You could choose select all or you could do them one by one. Um, one thing to note here is if you're like me and you post a lot of video content, be mindful of the fact that certain platforms can accept video content and certain platforms can't. It's the same situation if you're posting photos. Certain platforms you can upload photos, certain platforms you can't, right? So for example, like I've got all my platforms selected, I'm gonna post a reel, a short vertical video. And what I've learned and what I know is that I can't automatically schedule this to X. So I'm gonna uncheck that one. And I also can't automatically schedule it to my Google, my business profile. I have to uncheck that one. Google, when you upload updates, it's always images. But I'm gonna show you a hack on how to use that in the later part of this video, so keep watching. So I've selected all of my accounts. One other thing I want to share with you that's really cool is, of course, you can automatically post to your Facebook page, but you can also see right here it has listed my personal Facebook profile. Now, here's the deal. Um, there's no platform out there that can automatically post to your personal Facebook profile, but what this will do it will, is it will set you up with the content where you can just basically, once it gets loaded and scheduled and ready, once it posts, it will share with you all of your copy and what to say, as well as your image or your video. And all you have to do is just copy and paste it into Facebook, post it, and then you're done. So it's one less step, which is helpful. Okay. So let's roll through one up right now. What this looks like. I already went through the hassle of creating all of this. So I'm just going to walk you through what it looks like. So you can see here on one up, what I did was I selected all of my accounts. Pinterest, I chose the pin board that I want it under. And then if I scroll down, I have to fill in a few things, right? First thing is the title. So this is a video. Um, it's a video sharing a great app. It's called our Chicago agent app, and it's very available to anyone that wants to post real estate content for social media. So it's a video of me talking about that. So I plugged in a title for that for Pinterest. And then I also have my link leaning back to my website. I'm always trying to get people back to my website to get on my email list, of course, to then have them subscribe. Same thing with YouTube. We went ahead and we typed in a title for YouTube. And I did all of this, by the way, by using ChatGPT. So I just leveraged ChatGPT to give me all of this information so that I can plug it in. Down here under description, when you first load this, you can, again, use ChatGPT, have it create the post for you, copy and paste it into this description panel right here. Now, this will work perfectly for almost all of the platforms except for Pinterest. Pinterest has a character limit of up to 500 characters. So just be mindful that the post has to be shorter, but the other platforms, you can have the longest posts that you want, right? Do all the things, do all the hashtags, mm -hmm. right? When you wanna upload the actual content, whether it's an image or a video, um, the way you do that is right down here right? For me, it was a video. So I just clicked here and I clicked add video. If it was a photo, I'd click upload image and then boom, it will appear down below. 
All right. Once that's done, now we're going to go further into each platform. So down here, um, you can see here I have this listed as a Facebook post. Okay. Um, it's also in reality, it could actually be a Facebook reel and I could click that. So I'll click Facebook reel. I already uploaded the thumbnail. So it's just pulling in the thumbnail. Um, another cool feature about this for most of these platforms is you can add in a first comment. So I could type in a first comment to get the conversation going. I could also um, have a default comment where you can see here, I have a default comment where it's just, it's just sharing, Hey, if you're looking for blah, 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 real estate tools, resources, follow along over here. Right. So you could drive them to another social media platform or to your website, whatever you want. But I like to always have add a first comment to get the conversation going. All right. Facebook story. This is misleading. You could check the box, but it doesn't load if it's a video longer than the max length of a Facebook story or an Instagram story. So just be mindful of that. Um, down here, same concept, right? Instagram post post says Instagram reel. It's like the thumbnail edit the thumbnail. I just uploaded my thumbnail image. That's done location. You can add in your location. You can add in the first comment like I did here. Again, I did not check Instagram story because if it's longer than a story, the video will not post down below under LinkedIn. Same deal. Added a first comment. Pinterest again, uploaded the thumbnail. TikTok, you can't upload a thumbnail, but you can choose a thumbnail within the video. So I selected that thumbnail. YouTube made the video public, right? It's automatically going to choose for you. How long is the video? Is it a video? Is it a short? Again, there's the thumbnail all pulling in. I have video playlists, so I added it to my video playlist. And then I added all of my tags for YouTube, which again, ChatGPT just did all this for me. I just copied and pasted it in. So it's done. All right. And then I added a comment, right? So that's the workflow for boom, all the platforms. It's nice because it's just one location. A lot of it, it just repeats, you know, once you upload the thumbnail automatically pose, pose, pulls it in for the other platforms. So again, easy plug and play. You can click post now, or you can schedule it, right? You could choose the date and time. Um, pretty straightforward. You could have, have all your content scheduled out if you wanted to. Um, and then that is it. So that's how you post your content through one up. The one other thing that I want to show you is going to specifically cater to the Google business profile. So Google business profile, this is a Google business profile over here. You can see here, here's mine, Jared Larkin, Chicago title. And one aspect of the Google business profile is that we want to constantly add what's called an update. And this is an update right here, right? You drag in your content, your photo, your video, and then you have it. Right. And a lot of systems um, don't allow you to automatically post to the Google business profile, which is why I am a big fan of one up. So this is how we do it. When we are within this system, we're going to go over to create a post and we're going to choose auto post from social networks or RSS feeds. All right. So when I click on that, I'm going to go ahead and leave this screen. And I'm going to click on this. Now this will be blank for you, but what this is, it's really cool. Basically you can take pre-existing content or content that's already getting posted somewhere else and then have it reshared or reposted to another platform. So for example, I could have content that's automatically getting posted from my Facebook business page and I could have it then reposted over to my Google. So for a lot of us, this actually is a great solution. So how I would do this is I would just type in my Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash mile high title guy. Uh, let me go back here for a second, add new feed from Facebook, paste in my URL, right? Auto post new items in the feed. Yes. And then I want to post with an image attachment plus a link. Yes. All right category is going to just be one that doesn't matter then i'm going to say hey have this auto post to my google business profile which is right here okay i'm going to have the call to action be the learn more button and i'm just going to have it essentially be a, a link and it will go back to my facebook page if someone wants to click it and then i can choose hey publish just the most recent post now then new post moving forward or i can say hey queue up all the posts now up to max then a new post moving forward, right? So if you're new to this, you could even just queue up all the posts, right? And then it will move forward and it can take like the last 20 posts and time them out. All right, then right, how often do you want it posted? 
right? This is in minutes. So just do that math on how often do you want it posted. For me, I have it post once a week on my Google and then boom, I can add that, right? Uh, another way you can use this is if you have a website, right? Your website has a blog, you can grab the RSS feed and you can bring in the RSS feed. And um, again, you can have all of your content from your blog automatically reposted to another platform. So for example, Google Business Profile. And that's what I have set up. I actually have all my blog content automatically rescheduled to post as an update over to Google. All right. So I hope that's helpful. If you have any questions, reach out to me. I'm Jared Larkin with Chicago Title. If you'd like to learn more other uh, real estate tools, resources, marketing ideas, um, if you're in the Denver area or really in the front range, I host a ton of classes and events. Please follow along, sign up and reach out with any questions and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.